show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by the old and the senile retirement home. Send your parents to our rooms. And now, please welcome your host, Cookie. Hey, how's it going? You know, I'd probably tell my mother about the affair, too, mostly because if she found out I knew, she'd bust my skull. Okay, you want a little fun for the whole family? Sorry, wrong game. Okay, hit your buzzer and try to snag the highest value. Okay, give it up for... Parental logic, oxymoron, or paradox? Guess the magic number here is 3565. Could be your lucky number, let's find out. Which of these parental sayings is not an imperative sentence? Get a haircut, because I said so. Take out the trash. Or... Turn off the computer. Imperative sentences give a command, and this one doesn't. Why? Because I said so. If you don't like it, tough. I'm in charge, and you'll do as I say as long as you're here. Hey, buzz into selective value. Here's your category. Muppet babies? Who are the Muppet parents? And now, the question. Considering their colors, which Muppets could most likely be Kermit's parents? Gonzo and Elmo, Big Bird and Cookie Monster, Bird and Animal, or Snuffleupagus and Miss Piggy? Yellow and blue make green. And on our next show, we'll show you how to use a box of crayons and a microwave to make all the colors of the rainbow. All right, bang your b I think we can work with that, and here's your category. Your mama. Get your buzzer finger ready, here we go. Oh no, you stepped on a crack. Which of these could you not have broken? Your mother's sacrum, your mother's lumbar, your mother's occipital, or your mother's coccyx? After I carried you for nine months, this is how you treat me? The occipital bone isn't in her back, it's the back of your mama's skull. And unless you want to feel the back of her hand, don't bust nothing else. Alright, it's time to choose the value. We're calling this one... The USO at the PTA. Okay, picture this. You've missed a ton of classes and your mom and dad are being called into a parent-teacher conference. If your parent-teacher conference occurred during the Paris Peace Conference, what would be the best excuse for all your days absent? Fighting in the trenches during World War I, storming the beaches during World War II, digging foxholes during the Korean War, or hiding in Canada during the Vietnam War? Timmy is so a good speller. Timmy couldn't spell his way out of a paper bag. Bitch! Ah! You! Ah! <laughs> The Paris Peace Conference ended World War I, and if you can simulate a little shell shock, you can probably get out of gym class, too. Hit your buzzer to... This one's called... Test tube babies are so lucky. Alright, take a look at this letter to an advice column and tell me who wrote it. My twin and I have the most embarrassing foster mother. She walks around with her teats hanging out, she dresses up in sheep's clothing, and howls at the moon when normal mothers sleep. Help! Who most likely sent this letter? Cain and Abel, Chang and Aang, Romulus and Remus, or Xan and Jane up? If you boys don't come out of that bathroom, I will huff and I'll puff and I'll blow that door down! Romulus and Remus were the twin sons of Mars that were suckled and raised by a wolf. Select the highest va- Skip to Malo, Shamalama Ding Dong. What? What the hell is that? Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Alright, here's your real category. A diet for the constipated parent. Remember, the sooner you buzz in, the more cash you can pick up. Okay, think of all the trials of being a parent and then tell me what this rhymes with. Liz Hair T Bun. Heck, none. And ignore the punctuation. Talk to me, type in your answer and hit return. <laughs> C 
Caesarean section, sort of like Thanksgiving dinner, a little carving with a knife, some spilled gunk on the table, and good old-fashioned family love. Okay, hit your... Your category is... Isn't everyone enamored with my baby like I am? Oh, great. It's time for a very special guest host. Uh, see, we have this great new daycare system here at work that allows me to spend a lot more time with all of my wonderful co-workers' babies. And here's one of them now. Uh, Bill? Hey, Cookie. This is my new baby girl, Candy. The mean old boss makes us work so long, I don't get to spend much time with her. But I didn't want my little Candy feeling left out, did I? So I brought her in here to ask her own question. Oh, how, how wonderful. Okay, here she goes. Speak into the mic, Candy. Is it va? Is that the right answer, Candy? Uh -huh. Holy smokes, it's the right answer. It is the right answer, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, you're so funny. Aren't you the funniest little baby girl a dad could have? Yes, you are. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to go vomit. God, it's amazing. I mean, she's not speaking English, but you can understand everything she says. Candy, is there anything you want to add before you go? <laughs> Did she just say up yours, Cookie? All right, coming up. Double dating in the animal world. So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. Suppose Mr. and Mrs. Camel went out for the evening with Mr. and Mrs. Walrus. Given the appropriate names for the male and female of each species, of what would the party consist? A bull, a cow, a bull and a cow, a buck, a doe, a boar and a tabby, a ram, a mare, a cock and a jenny, or a boar, a bitch, a boar and a bitch. Male camels and walruses are both called bulls. The females of both species are called cows. And when the four of them get together... It's really disgusting. Okay, the category is... Donuts make my brown eyes blue? Okay, you know how some genes for eye colors are dominant and some are recessive? Well, if Van Morrison's brown-eyed girl and Chuck Berry's brown-eyed handsome man have recessive blue-eyed genes, what's the chance that their child will have Elton John's blue eyes? 0%, 25%, 50%, or 75%? 75%, that's what, a uh, C- in most schools? But you know what? This is in school, and you failed. <laughs> the same chance you had of guessing the right answer. If brown-eyed parents have blue-eye recessive genes, there's a 1 in 4 chance their child will have blue eyes. And considering the gene pool, the kid would be a flamboyantly gay, born-again Christian who often ends up in jail. Okay. It's dead, it's disgusting, it's roadkill. Alright, when you see the answer that unites the pair of items on the screen, buzz in. And also, there's some bonus money up for grabs at the end. Can you say Grease Lightning? Just checking. Here we go. What you do on a cigarette and powder blank. What do these two things have in common? Type of truck and blank the knife. Thousand and eight life blank. Tom Hanks movie and Andre the Giant was really blank. Universal blood donor and the roundest letter. What? 
models usually have, and they go all the way up. Term of Endearment and Blank Ray Leonard. Alright, let's go for the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all Earth Mothers? Annoying in-laws? Baby products? Family cars? Desirable traits of children? Nicknames containing... Oh yeah, put it in the bank! I'm gonna be your sugar daddy, count it! Alright, there it is, let's keep moving. It's your buzzer to... I like to call this category... She either swallowed a goat or she's blessed with child. So, remember those sex ed films we all saw? Pregnancy was demystified, we learned the words for sperm and ovum, and we didn't have to explain the process as he put his thing in her down there. Well, get ready to buzz and start typing. So pretend I'm holding a dandelion and help me complete this saying. Mama had a baby and her what popped off. Type it in when you know. Too bad you didn't type this. It's a game you play with dandelions. Mama had a baby and her head popped off. And the dandelion head goes flying. And it's a hell of a lot less gross than what actually happens when Mama has a baby. Okie doke, let's check out the category. Mother Nature and her Miracle Whip. Hey, did your mom ever cut the crusts off the bread for you? Yeah, mine neither. If Mother Nature trims the crust off the Earth while making a sandwich, what will she be cutting away? The mesosphere, the hydrosphere, the lithosphere, or the movie sphere? Mesosphere? God, even Bill's baby. Uh, what's her name? Wouldn't be dumb enough to pick that. Here's the one you wanted. Cutting off the lithosphere gets rid of all that nasty crust. Now if she'd only lay off the mayo in the egg salad. Hey, My mom says I'm the best host ever. She also says this is your clue. Why does our parents tell us? I still wonder about the time my folks said they were making funny shapes under the blanket. Well, I don't know. Who would make that up? Now go find some friends to brag to! Taylor? Why aren't those earnings projections on my desk? I, uh... Oh, uh, Has this I, happened uh, to you? I, uh, we can help. We're Skyfib. Using an advanced network of satellites and messaging pagers, Skyfib provides you with instant, context-appropriate excuses. Taylor? I'm still waiting for those earnings projections. Why don't you have them? I, uh... Oh, excuse me, my pager. <clears throat> I had to go to Lama's class. You're pregnant? Well, okay. Skyfib can help in any situation. Honey, Tammy said she saw you going into the bowling alley last night. Weren't you working late? Uh, I was, uh...
doing a bolathon for kids with smallpox. Oh, honey, I'm so impressed. And you'd be impressed to know who uses Skyfib. Mr. President, did you have an extramarital affair with that woman? <coughs> Oral sex is not adultery. Let Skyfib help you today. But, honey, wasn't smallpox eliminated in the 70s? I just uh, wanted the kids to have a transmission error. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, yes. I thought about how hard it must have been for him to walk across the gym and ask me to dance, but when I looked down at my bracelet, I thought, what would Satan do? Satan. So I said no and set fire to the gym. Satanco. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just found a pork shoulder underneath that tree. Well, ain't you the lucky one? Here at Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm, we grow only the freshest kinds of meat. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just pulled this leg of lamb out of the dead pile. It's still got wool on it and everything. Looks like someone's getting a new pair of mittens and a full belly. Bring the family and spend the day. Aunt Shannon, I'm going to pick my dinner right out of the cow tank. Which one you going to eat? That one over there with the big rubber band around his horns. He's a big one. Come on down to Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm right next door to the AgriChem Lab. I hope to meet you soon. <laughs> Hey folks, Crazy Ernie here, inviting you to come on down to Crazy Ernie's Discount Carpet and Mutual Fund Emporium. It's my third anniversary blowout. That's right, I've got insane deals on wall-to-wall, -wall, large cap, small cap, shag, bond, stain master, and concentrated healthcare. I must be out of my mind. I got active managed, I got no load. I got free installation. What must I be thinking? You want diversified international? I got them babies too. I'm mentally unstable. I want an IRA. I got regular, I got raw. I got direct from factory outlet in every color. Crazy Ernie's Discount Carpet and Mutual Fund Emporium. I'm a threat to society as we know it. Time now. Now for a page from the success journey with motivational speaker and full-time dreamer, Dr. Harvey Bass. Let me tell you the story of a small farm boy from Alaska. He grew up in poverty, often cold, often hungry, many times forced to eat his own hair for sustenance. His father, a proud man, eked out a living raising caribou and selling their hooves to be made into pencil erasers. The father expected his son to take over the family business. Well, this bright, ambitious boy had a different idea. He had what I like to call a dream. The boy at the tender age of 12 rented a car and drove from Alaska to a small island off the coast of Florida. There, he fulfilled his dream of growing a beard, smoking big cigars, and talking in a funny accent. Yes, that man is better known to you and me as billionaire entrepreneur and respected world leader, Wilford Brimley. This has been a page from the success journey with Dr. Harvey Bass. Johnson? Yes, sir? Get in here. Is there a problem, sir? Look, Johnson, I'm not gonna sit here and blow sunshine up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> Who are you? How the hell did you get in here? I'm the Sunshine Pixie. And I'm here to tell you that Sunshine Suppositories are the perfect pick-me-up when life has got you down. Here, try one. What the? Oh. Oh. See what I mean, Sunshine? Johnson, put your pants back on. Oh, calm down, Mr. Pouty Puss. Here. Hey. Hey. See? Sunshine Suppositories sweeten your disposition in a snap. Uh. What was it that you wanted to see me about, boss? Uh, forget it. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Sunshine suppositories. Spread your cheeks for a little sunshine today. So you think you know sous chef? You and your other yuppie spawn friends think you know sous chef? Well, you don't know sushi at all, not a wee bloody bit. Oh, oh, you can sit in your fancy $70 a plate sushi cafes and impress your other human scabby friends and order California roll and think you're the sheep's wool. Well, you're nothing. You're sushi juniors and you make me sick. So from now on, you order sushi the real way, the proper way. You get McLeod sushi or you don't eat it at all. McLeod's only uses real haggis. None of this simpy wimpy fish snot. We only use haggis. Good Scottish men's haggis. And if you know it's good for you, you'll eat it too. So stop being a baby doll freak loser and leave that hermus alone because you're eating McLeod sushi from now on. He's short and squat with thinning hair. Protruding gut and derriere He's got no neck, it's just not there But I just can't avert my stare I watch him from across the street I hope someday that I can meet The boy from Chichen Itza His forehead's like a billboard 
one sign His eyes are red as Boots Farm wine His nose is like a cone of pine His lips, hey well, they look just fine I wave at him but he can't see His lazy eye can't locate me Decide the time is right. I finally have him in my sight. Perhaps we'll go out for a bite. I cross the street, the traffic's light. I fail to see the garbage truck. Now my life with him is fun.